Hey guys, hope you're all doing good and welcome to a new video. Recently, there has been a huge surge in the number of electric vehicles in the market. So we thought we would also keep up with this trend and talk about the most important component in an electric vehicle, the battery. The battery has to be the single most important invention that was done ever since the discovery of electricity. It was invented by Alessandro Volta in the year 1800. He called it the Volta pile. The Voltaic pile was a very basic battery design which consisted of multiple layers of cardboard that was actually soaked in salt water and was sandwiched between copper and zinc plates, right? But with this simple setup, you have everything that you need to construct a battery. Now, obviously, batteries have come a long way from this. Batteries function by a process called electrolysis in which two electrodes are dipped inside a conductive solution which causes ions to build up on the electrodes. Due to this buildup, there is a difference in charge between these two electrodes. Hence, to function, a battery needs the following components. These components are anode, cathode, electrolyte, separator, and the casing. The first component that we are going to be talking about is electrodes. A battery needs at least two electrodes to function they are the cathode and the anode. The definition of cathode and anode varies with the state of the function. When the battery is undergoing discharge, the electrode that releases electrons during discharge is called anode. The electrode that absorbs the electrons is called cathode. This reverses during the charging process. An electrolyte is a compound or a solution which facilitates the flow of ions. An electrolyte could be a salt or liquid dissolved in an aqueous solution. The electrolyte should be a very good conductor of ion charges, but it should be a bad conductor of electricity. It is also important that electrolyte does not react with the electrodes. These properties are required to prevent internal short circuiting. The cathode and the anode are normally separated by a separator in the battery. The main function of the separator is to prevent these two electrodes from touching each other and causing a short circuit. The separators used in batteries are normally porous so as to facilitate the flow of charges between the two electrodes. Separators are normally made up of polymeric membranes whose pore sizes are higher than 100 angstroms. If the pores were any smaller, they would inhibit the flow of ions. The next important component of a battery is the casing. Early batteries were placed in glass containers which were filled with the electrolyte solution and two electrodes were stuck into it. These contraptions were very fragile and frequently lead to spillage. Over the years, the casings have gotten better and evolved along with the batteries. Heavy duty batteries like the ones that are used in cars and trucks use corrosive lead acid. So the casing is extremely sturdy and is also designed in such a manner that there is no spillage of the electrolyte. Much smaller batteries like the lithium ion batteries, which we use in our phones and portable devices, tend to have very light casings made up of light metals. These four parts are the basic elements of any battery. All right, I hope through this video, you learned about the four basic components in a battery. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.